Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with Spellbinders Christmas in July Mega Card Making Kit. This is Handmade Holidays. It's a complete card making kit loaded with lots of goodies plus there are some dies and better press to go along with this fantastic box of Christmas card making fun. Love it! So crafters, let's take a look at what's inside. I'll show you everything. I planned on making three cards. Of course, I made seven cards. Some of my cards are here behind me. You get a nice range of elegant cards all the way into fun cards. <laughs> so let's take a look at Handmade Holidays. Let's get started. So let's open up this fabulous box of goodies. This box does fit in your cube storage units too. It's a great size. Love the durability of it. Look how pretty this is just from the outside. Handmade holidays Christmas kit. <laughs> you open it up like so. Love the tissue and then the little sticker. I did already open this up because I made my examples from the contents in the box. And you'll open it like this. First thing you'll notice is this beautiful card. You'll get examples and you also get a detailed list of the contents that's in the box. There will be 25 card bases and envelopes that consist of 13 A2 card bases and the coordinating envelope and 12 five by seven card bases with the matching envelopes, okay? Then you're gonna get some beautiful die cuts, floral die cuts, Floral die cuts with foil detail. Here are the printed die cuts with sentiments in there. This is just some of them because I had to separate out <laughs> all the goodness in here. So you're going to get printed and sentiment die cuts too. Love that. And each image will be double. Double over here and double here. So you can definitely make more than the 25 cards. There's also chipboard stickers, two-sided. I did use what was there. Look how fun that is. Look at that detail, love the colorway. There are some gems. This reminds me of Spellbinder's new peach blush. It's a very nice rose gold colorway, love it. There's also a stamp, so you get this detail and you can stamp this on the outside or the inside of the cards. Great sentiments, handmade with love. That could be on the back of the card, fa la 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 la. Let's deck the hall with love and laughter. Wishing you a season that's merry and bright and more sentiments like that. Love this bold peace, love and joy. And they're stickers. It's a two-sided pack as well. Sentiments again in the back. So more sentiments beyond the sentiments die cuts. You won't run out of being able to decorate your card with sentiments. And I love this stamp detail. More stickers up here. Love the dates on it and the little icons down here. Really, really fun. Look at that foil detail throughout. There's also puffy stickers in a great font. I did use Tis the Season here, so you'll see that on my example. But this is fabulous. Look how pretty this is. This is a great sizing too for 12 by 12 layouts if you want to use this collection for that. Here is the beautiful pattern paper. This is a six by six paper pack, 40 sheets, single sided, 20 sheets, two designs of each. So you get all these great traditional colors. Look at that. Even with the splatter, love that. Love this with the graphic detail. Love this candy cane stripe. This really inspired me with some of the card examples. Look how pretty that is. Throughout this whole collection is that theme of the winter rose. Love. Look at this great detail. Postage again. And it goes on. Look at the candy cane. Look at that great plaid detail. I really love this because you're getting prints and neutrals within this pattern paper pack. Okay. See the foil? Look at that beautiful foil with the roses. And then here's one with like a great background with splatter already done for you. Trees. Then look at this last page. It's like a ledger detail in the background with the gold stars in foil. So you would get a full pack. <laughs> Handmade holidays paper pad. And then you're getting double-sided tape and some foam squares to get you going. 
So you can carry this to a crop, meet up with your crafty friends. You guys can make cards together. You could even gift this. This is a great gift to give somebody. This is a great value for what you're getting. It's a lot in here and you can make beyond that 25 cards. So love it. Look at this confetti. So pretty. So now you can go into shakers too. Just need some acetate. And lastly within the box is the beautiful paper pack. So this is cardstock now, 18 sheets, okay? Let's take a closer look at that. There's also beautiful cardstock. I get so excited by the cardstock. And it gets even better because you can replenish this paper pack too. 18, eight and a half by 11 sheets. You're getting 14 sheets of smooth cardstock, two gold foil and two silver foil pages. Taking a closer look at the cardstock. Some sheets in here are doubles. That's the traditional Christmas. The reds, the greens. You're also getting a beautiful sheet of this mahogany style cardstock. Then one sheet of a very pretty blue. If you want to incorporate blue, that goes very well with your confetti. Love that. Next, here are some neutrals to balance out the colors and with the pattern paper pack. Two sheets of white. A black and then this craft which is a very pretty craft I would call this color like burnt gold it has a gold tone to it can you see it like a tan gold this is a very pretty colorway oh spellbinders you need to bring this <laughs> as regular cardstock I'm liking this color because it's craft but not brown craft oh love that color I get excited by cardstock <laughs> And to round out the cardstock pack, there is this medium pink, two sheets of the light pink, this yellow off-white colorway, then two gold foil, and this is like a yellow gold, and here is some silver foil. So I did not use this paper pack in my examples because I wanted to show you what the whole pad looks like. I just wanted to show you it pretty. I didn't want to cut it up and get into it. Now after showing you, I can definitely get into this, but you can also replenish this beauty okay now let's talk about how you can stretch this kit further by incorporating these dies into your kit there is the handmade sentiments you're going to get three sentiments happy holidays delivering joy christmas wishes and you get this beautiful curved banner with it so this is a four-piece die set up next is this amazing option look how pretty this is this is delivering joy sleigh dies I'll put the measurement of the sleigh here. This is how you would assemble the sleigh. You can choose to have that beautiful drop-in detail or keep the sleigh solid. There's a beautiful bow if you wish, presents, a little tag that says Noel and Joy. You get foliage and then you get this beautiful poinsettia. These holly leaves are great too. And then that's the center for the poinsettia. And then those are the little berries. So loved. So this is amazing you'll see it on my example and lastly this is the winter rose background press plate and stencil bundle but you don't have to get the stencil so there are two options available and the stencil is not sold separately better press plate stencil bundle or just the better press plate alone if you get the better press plate alone and you glimmer it or you press it then to color this in you would use either your alcohol markers or watercolor or color pencils. With the stencil option, then you get to bring ink into it. And that makes for faster crafting with something like this. You can press this or glimmer this. It's very beautiful. I'll show it to you in my example. But keep in mind that if you purchase the background only, then you can't get the stencil later on. So decide which one you want to get and then go with that. And lastly, here are the items that you can replenish your handmade holidays card making kit with. You can get the handmade holidays paper pack individually. Also, the six by six paper pack individually. Also, the handmade holidays floral die cuts. This is a 98 count pack. This one will be in the kit, the printed die cuts with the sentiments, but you can purchase more of the floral die cuts. And you can also get the Handmade Holidays Gemstones. This is 147 self-adhesive gemstones. So these are the four items that you can replenish your Handmade Holidays kit with. 
First up, here are three out of my seven card examples. All of my cards pretty much are A2. Only one of them is an A6. Here you're seeing the elegant side of Handmade Holidays. Love! This features the 6x6 paper pad. Look at the beautiful pattern. This one is the most simple card that I made, but I think it's so elegant. Easy and quick to make. Foiled winter rose, and then one of those floral printed die cuts with the beautiful bird. Here in the background, this is just an A2 sheet of Spellbinders Alabaster cardstock, glimmered on with the beautiful Glitter Wishes hot foil set. I chose Joy to the World, and then I just stuck this on the top and put this beautiful printed die cut right there. Isn't that pretty? Love! Next card features pattern paper, but playing with this postage edge die. This is called the nested postage labels and tag dies. The largest die right here is an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. And then I went one more in. So I'm using the layers. And then here is that puffy sticker, Tis the Season. And again, the floral printed die cuts and pattern paper. Love both examples. My next example, I decided to play. This one is like a present. And so I have the stripe pattern paper and then this beautiful plaid pattern paper with the graphic detail. One of those sentiment die cuts. And then here is another floral die cut. And I put a little bit of stickles here and some opal gems and made this card. Isn't this fun? So you can really stretch this set and make multiples of these cards. If you love this pattern paper, like I clearly do, then you can get yourself another one of those pads and replenish your pack. On both card examples here, crafters, I'm using all three optional sets, the dies and also the better press background. And you notice this one is fun and play. And then this one is more elegant, traditional. Look at the traditional colors in both. Love, love, love. This card mainly features the Delivering Joy sleigh. Use the sleigh. Look how beautiful the sleigh is layered up. When you take out this detail piece, you'll have that solid part in the background, which you're seeing here in black. Notice how that color peeks through and it die cuts well. All of what you see here can die cut in the new Spellbinders Platinum Scout machine. Love that. So you get the bottom detail here. Look at this beautiful dot detail. And then I layered this on top. This is with Spellbinders Glitter Foam, just glued down so easily. And then here are the presents in silver. This is with Spellbinders new glitter paper packs, three colors, silver, gold, and I believe it's rose gold. Look at the die cuts. One is tucked in here that says the North Pole. Then here's the beautiful poinsettia layered up with some of the foliage and then I put a sentiment die cut here look at the pattern paper in the back to create this card with those multiple layers gray black into the pattern paper I'm using spellbinders precision layering a to a and b 16 dies in each and I just have these layers going this works very well to help you make your a2 cards it was also used for this background too and then here this little touch of velvet, this is Vivant. Another compliment to this beautiful Handmade Holidays kit is Vivant Ribbon. Now, I recently purchased these from Spellbinders. These two colors will work very well. I'll put the name here on the screen. It is Velvety Ribbon, and I'll put the amount of yards you're gonna get, but you're gonna get something like this. And this is available at Spellbinders. Once I saw this, on the Spellbinders website, I was like, oh, that is so beautiful. But when it came in person, oh, and it's daytime, so you can really see the color. Then look at this moss green. That goes with this pattern paper pad so well. Look at that. So beautiful. So these two colors are fabulous. But then I also treated myself to this one. I love this blue. I think it's fabulous for winter, fall crafting. Just glue down well and I'm ready to go. So this is the velvety ribbon, okay? In the background here, I'm just using a foundation die. This is fluted classic circles just to break away from the pattern there and then build my little sleigh scene. So fun, love this. This card is the fun, playful side of Handmade Holidays and it mainly features two items. 
the pattern paper pack and the printed die cuts. It doesn't feature any of the floral die cuts. So you can really play with this because if you're making a lot of cards, after a while, once you reach card number 10, 12, 15, that's when you want variety. And I love that Spellbinders gave you so much variety that you won't get stagnant and be like, okay, I'm over the kit. So you can play. And that's how I went from three cards to seven cards. And I could have kept on going because once you incorporate the dies and the better press, you're stretching it even more. And I love that. All the die cuts here are from here, including that beautiful tag. To create this collage, I had these bits in my craft stacks and I just pulled out the tag, the sleigh, put Santa on top, the two trees, everything here I have a second one of. Two thumbs up because I love that. So then I could reproduce this card a different way. And then even here, this little banner with the pattern was in here too. From the 6 by 6 paper pad, I just took a sheet of this green right here and then this part. This was actually a happy accident, glimmering. <laughs> I'm laughing, crafters, because I think I had glimmered it reverse. So when I ran it through my Platinum 6 machine, it actually gave a great <laughs> dry emboss with the glimmer. Can you see it? And it overfoiled too. But I think it's pretty in the background. I was like, I liked it because you can feel all of this. It was almost like I had better press it, but I didn't. I don't know what I did, really. <laughs> this is it glimmered standard way. See how it's flat? But the pressure of the Platinum 6 gave all of that detail. And then I built the collage on top. To put a little decorative detail on this tag, I'm using the circle cord in gold. I just bought this from Spellbinders. Isn't this gorgeous? This looks like a lot of yards you're gonna get. And it does tie for tags. Finish this off with some red gems. Up next, crafters. This card features two items from the Handmade Holidays kit. It's the chipboard stickers. So I used Deck the Halls with Love and Laughter right there. And I'm pretending that this is a wax seal. So I'm using the seal twine die. <laughs> but here is the glimmer background. I'm using matte gold hot foil roll. Look how pretty that is. And then here it is with the stencil. You just blend this in. And the stencil is a four count stencil. Very easy to work with. Look how pretty that is. And I came in with these pinks spruce colorway with a touch of gold now to bring back that gold i'm using the new spellbinders glitter cardstock pack this is something else you might want to add to it too treasured cardstock this one so you get a nice combination of colors there's gold silver and rose gold and i cut out that gold foil with the mirrored arch so that foil is also a nice incorporation with this collection too because there are so many touches of gold in here the mirrored arch labels die one of my favorites the largest die in here is an a2 that's what you see here to tie in the beautiful chipboard sentiment i'm using seal twine and then to finish the whole thing off i put some of the new gems as spellbinders this one is called peridot so this card i just went a little oversized because i wanted to have a nice background for this and lastly, here is card number seven. Because there were so many stamps, whether it was a sticker or printed die cut like this, I decided to come in with one of Spellbinder's oldie but goodie die sets. I did use the Handmade Holidays pattern paper pack here in the background because of that postage detail. I also came in with that beautiful postage dies, nested postage labels, just the largest one here put it on a white card base, and then I went from there. I also incorporated the beautiful poinsettia and foliage from the Delivering Joy sleigh, then tucked everything into this oldie but goodie parcel and post mailbox. Love this set. So I think it's perfect for something like this because there's so much postage detail. The sentiment, may warmth and happiness fill your home these holidays, is also in the printed die cuts. Isn't that fabulous? This is brushed gold cardstock and brushed black cardstock. This is also brushed gold for that beautiful bow. See the bow? So instead of using the little lid here, I'm using that. 
I'm having tons of fun. You could put the presents in here. Here I did the presents from here, the die cuts. Just shopping what was in here. And by shopping what's in the craft stacks, it gave me the ability to really play with this. And then when I want to replenish, I just open this up and sprinkle some more. See, two Santas. Isn't that fun? And then bringing in the Vivant, bringing in your Better Press, bringing in your Glimmer. And in summary, crafters, look at my seven cards. Look at the variety in here. You can work with the pattern paper. You can make elegant cards. You can also work with your dies. You can work with Glimmer, Better Press. Just have fun with this one. There is so much variety and I love that it has traditional colors and then you can still switch it up handmade holidays is a runaway hit this is a fabulous mega card making kit for the season you can make lots and lots of cards thanks so much for watching crafters